Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, here we are in week 10. UTC versus Nine Realms. Uh, Joseph Reedham and Reap Moore came up with another theme that I don't understand and he'll probably have to explain to me in a uh, Facebook message. And, of course, Michael Jenkinson's Nine Realms. Um, we've been learning about the book he's been writing and the uh, characters he's creating, and he put them on his fantasy team. And if his book is as good as his team, then it should sell about 12 copies. And then, uh, you know, Joseph Friedman or UTC. Uh, I'm still, I don't understand. I don't like it when people have initials for their team that don't exactly match what their team name is. But anyway, without any further ado, folks, we're going to get this game started. Michael Jenkinson versus Joseph Reedham and Weep Moore. Three, two, one, go. No injuries returning this week, if there are any injuries. Here comes the coin toss. And I want to take this opportunity to let you all know that choice piece of ass Tiffany Mitchell will be joining us in the third quarter just for the third quarter because she knows her role she knows her place and that's the third quarter and the kick is off here we go Jordan returning from the 15 crossing the 30 already wow look at this crossing the 50 to the 46 Offset eye formation, starting off the pass play in a sack immediately. Mulk Demott got in there without any issue. This is a draw play. Wow, he's already intimidated the defense enough where they're starting to call conservative plays already. And here's another one. Wow, broken tackle. I thought this was a conservative play call, but folks, he's down inside the red zone to the 13-yard line, first and 10. Shotgun formation. Is it that draw play again? It is. Here it comes. That is a first down, first and goal at the two-yard line. The mocks are making short work of the Nine Realms defense. Incomplete. Straight up the middle on this one, folks. Just short of the goal line. Third in inches. And he's going to get it this time. The Mox strike first. Cherry Priest. Price. Priest. With a touchdown. The extra point is up. It's good. And it's a 7 nothing ball game. Here comes the return by Glint. It looks like Joseph Moore made himself the kicker on his own team. Talk about humility, folks. Called play. Quarterback gets it off anyway. Finds a connection on the deep route. And they're down to the 35 already. Double tight end set. Hand off. That did not look like a good play from the start. A lot of motion. What's it going to be? Fading back to pass. Not many options. I see one now at the top, but it took too long. Wow! He got an extraordinarily blo extraordinary block at the end of that play. He got the pass off, but couldn't connect. This time, they will connect. And uh, Finn... Ami will score a touchdown. The Realms are on the board just as quick. Marsan Jenks. Seven seven all. And here comes Jordan. Returning the kickoff, he impressed on the first. Can he do it again? He broke a couple of tackles already and grappled for a very long time, but the uh, production was modest compared to the first return. Everyone's covered, and there is a pass rush. Ready, 
big sack there. All right, here we go. Third down and 16. Big play here. Shotgun formation, and they'll just go with the draw play. Very conservative choice on that situation. He'll get three. And the punt is... Oh, there's that right outside linebacker for the Nine Realms. He makes a difference on those punt plays. And a throw across the middle out of the back of the end zone. No good. Wow, he stood there forever, and that'll completely nullify a blocked punt. 7-7. Seven, seven. Pass play here. Huge pass rush. Quarterback throws out of desperation. There's a deep pass down at the bottom looking for a receiver. He caught that one. But he had to dive to get it. This will be the last play of the first quarter. What a play, though. And there's a sack by Cole Carrad. Cole Carrad. Cole Carrad. Four wideouts. Another intense pass rush. Forces the Mox to throw it out of bounds. Who's open? Priest will take it just shy of the first down marker, and they're going to attempt a field goal. This should be an easy one. Ten seven. Well, folks, when you're this late in the season, every game matters. Every play matters. And at this point, the uh, the mocks are three and five, and the uh, nine realms team are four and four. So at this point, for either team, a loss could be crushing for their season hopes. The Realms struggling on offense here. We're already at third and ten. What a JJ. Did they need that or did they need that? And he dodges a few tacklers and gets down to the 42-yard line of the Mox. The Realms needed that like you wouldn't believe. Handoff. Tackled well behind the line of scrimmage there. Second and 11. I'd say that's a generous spot. Quarterback sees somebody he likes and just overthrows him. It's third and 11 already. Boy, this is a boomer bust offense so far. Touchdown Realms. So it's either a loss or a touchdown or a big game for the Nine Realms offense. That's what I see. Fourteen ten, folks. Jordan will return it again. Will it be a boom or bust return? Ooh, he got a block there, but it didn't matter. He's tackled at the five yard line. And if the realms get a pass rush on them, this could be a safety. Oh my. I don't know how they didn't connect there. That was the right choice. And the pass was accurate enough. Oh my goodness. Fumble. Nine realms recover in the end zone. Touchdown. Realms and Mulk Dammit. Make this a two score game. What a play. I'm not even exactly sure what happened there. A pass to the running back, almost looked like a screen, tackled immediately, fumble, and the ball bounced around until the Nine Realms recovered it in the end zone. Pro form, the mocks have to respond now. 
They have to respond. Offset I formation. Ooh, a JJ of their own for the Mox. And it couldn't have come at a better time itself. And he's down. Oh my lord, the Mox. Fumble again. And the Nine Realms pick it up. And they'll start with a first and ten at their own 34 yard line. That was a tough pill to swallow for Joseph Moore's team. Two crucial turnovers. And a big pass play follows that one. <sighs> Tiffany will be joining us shortly, ladies and gentlemen. After halftime, 53 seconds here left in the second quarter. Second quarter of action. Throws into coverage there after an intense pass rush. It's never good. It's 4th and 21, and they're going to attempt a field goal. This won't be an easy one. It's a risk that I don't think he has to take. And it'll be wide left. Not good. Nothing there. More conservative play calling. It's about time to be the third quarter, ladies and gentlemen. Halftime is over, om almost here. The guest of honor. It's about time she arrives on the scene. Another fumble by the Mox, but they're lucky enough to have this one go out of bounds. Four seconds left. This is the last play before halftime. The pass was good. Gets him a first down, but it really is meaningless in the grand scheme of things. And folks, I want to take halftime to let you all know about vasectomy. Yes, sir, everyone. All you middle and age, age men out there need to get a vasectomy in. That leads me to our third quarter guest, the inspiration for a vasectomy. I'm on vasectomy eve right now. Tiffany Mitchell, would you join us, please? Choice piece of ass. Hello everyone, choice piece of ass, join in the mix. And I can't believe that my husband is telling everybody that we're on Visectomy Eve. Yeah, uh, well, it's a public service announcement. <laughs> it's a lot of dudes that are probably too old to be having babies anymore, and they need to know about this stuff. And I just thought that you and I could help them <laughs> be an inspiration. I'm actually one of the younger members of the league, and... Uh, Gotta get that shit fixed up, right, Tiff? <laughs> <laughs> the world is overpopulated. We gotta do our part. I know. Fossil fuels and, and shit. There's a touchdown for the Mox. They're gonna come back in the third quarter here. Leslie Jordan with a big play from Mr. Belding. I had almost counted the Crocs out, Tiff. They were outscored heavily there in the first half 20, 21 10 at the at the half and then uh they're coming out with a fire up their ass do you think do you think mr belding could use a vasectomy it's possible do you know who mr belding is no he's from say by the bell he's the principal on say by the oh, bell oh yeah quick pass there by the quarterback but to no avail he'll lose two yards we're in pro form now tiffany or in pro form, handoff to the top sidelines. Glint has some moves, he has some speed. He gets about 17 yards on that play and a first down. So uh, Tiffany, uh, tell me, what do you think now that I've been uh, in, in the Tecmo Owners League now for seven seasons? No, yes, yeah, seven seasons. And uh, like, what does that do for you in the bedroom? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Uh, it's been seven seasons? Seven seasons, it sure has. Seven seasons, and you've been one of my star players every season. Just like in real life. You're, you're doing the dirty work all the time. Just like in real life. 
handoff to the top sidelines. A lot of moves being made, but still a modest, modest gain there. We got two kind of conservative offenses here, Tiffany. They're, they like to do running plays way more than passing plays, and when they do passing plays, it doesn't always look so good, and you end up with um, some strange-looking offensive plays. This is a field goal here. This one is good, and it'll make it a seven-point lead for the Nine Realms and Ke Michael Jenkinson. Michael Jenkinson has uh, also been one of the team owners for many, many seasons. I am superior to him. Not because of my record this year, because I'm getting a vasectomy tomorrow. And I'm pretty sure he has not done that. I and, and it's like Bob Barker said, like, get your cat spayed and neutered, you know? Or is it dogs? Remember that? No. Bob Barker used to end the prices right by talking about spaying your pet and neutering your pets. And that's the public service announcement I feel like I'm delivering here to the... Oh, safety! Huge play! Huge play! Interrupting my public service announcement. So with 101 left in the third quarter, the Nine Realms go up by two scores. This late, Tiffany, going up by two scores it makes you feel pretty good. Kind of like getting a vasectomy before you have another child. <laughs> I hope you're this enthusiastic tomorrow, <laughs> come 1 p.m. Yeah, it's a, the the, uh, the procedure is real simple and easy, folks. All they do is they power blast your balls with a miniature. Uh, um, uh, uh, what are they? What are they? Power washer? Power washer, yeah. Miniature power washer to your balls. And you don't feel a thing, they say. You don't feel a thing. Well, you'll have to confirm that. Yep. I'd also like Joseph Reedham and Wheatmore to consider, unless he'd like to have children of his own, that he might consider a vasectomy himself. And Tiffany, that was the last play of the third quarter. You're dismissed. Get the fuck out of here. I'm out. Thank you to the choice piece of ass, Tiffany. Signing out. It's 26 17, fourth quarter. The Crocs need to make something happen. The mocks, the Crocs, the socks. Quarterback takes off with it himself. Mr. Belding needs to make a huge play here. Handoff straight up the middle. Oh my god. The play calling here has just been painful but not as painful as a vasectomy. Pass play, almost intercepted. The Mox needed that so badly. Looking for a receiver, huge pass rush. Pez Walti gets in there for a sack. Looking good, folks. This is a big needed play by the uh, by the defense here, they got it. The mocks forced them to punt, and there's still just enough time left to make this competitive. Jordan takes it. Oh my god, there's about seven tacklers there to greet him. Offset eye formation, the mocks need to start. Making some plays here. That's a good start. Got about 14 there. First and 10 at their own 32. Handoff straight up the middle. Priest gets a first and 10. Pro form tight end at the top. Handoff straight up the middle. And this one breaks huge, ladies and gentlemen. The defense for the nine rounds engages quickly that looked like a touchdown for a moment but he's tackled at the 27 of the nine realms the off tackle run gets him a couple pro form here another run start up the middle this one is called after a broken tackle he gets back to the line of scrimmage third and seven they're gonna need to pass at some point and this time they do throws into coverage Dangerous throw for a very modest gain, and this is it, folks. The Crocs need to convert here. 
And a wild throw out of the out of bounds, and that will likely end the mocks and the crocs. Dreams, dreaming dreams of winning. Nine realms with an easy first down there. Pretty poor pass coverage. The realms. The realms are moving the ball down the field with ease, with poise, with gumption. They choose to pass, interesting choice. Throws in a double coverage, really rolling the dice. 125 to go, offset eye, looking for a receiver. And there is a glimmer of hope for the mocks, the crocs, the socks. And if this is, this is a pass play. This is actually a pass play, folks. Throws right into coverage. Their pass game is just not designed for this. Hand off straight up the middle. Virtually no gain. Shotgun formation, called play. They're calling the shotgun draw, being down two scores with less than a minute to go. What is going on? Handoff up the middle. Make some moves, that's what you wanna see. Broken tackle. My goodness. They've got time for one more play. Congratulations to the Nine Realms. Oh, called play. Uh, one more, one more. Is this the draw play? Is it? Oh my gosh, it is. <laughs> oh, that made me belly laugh. 26, 17, nine realms over the mocks, the crocs, and the socks. Congratulations to Michael Jenkinson. He remains alive in the playoff hunt. This is Joe Shitbag Mitchell signing off.